my brothers and sisters. How's it? How's it? This is Rich Rich here once again. How you all been doing? You know what I mean? Dirty camera, dirty camera. Let me just fix that. We are going to do a trip to the thrift, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Valley Village. My most favorite store of all time. The Burquitlam one for all you locals who knows where Burquitlam is. We're going to go in there very soon. <laughs> Haven't done one in a while. So I decided I, I, you know, let's make another video. The Beatles help uh, LP cover shirt on, you know, from Hightower from Japan. Uniqlo, you know, uni Uniqlo, whatever it's called. Anyways, we're going to go in there, see what's what they have. I'm not sure how I'd, I might do it, you know, film as I go or, or just take the stuff I'd like to share with you and and then film after that so it's all together, stuff in the store, stuff like that. Okay, we'll be back, guys. We'll be back. This is our Valley Village, well, Burkhout and Valley Village at least. Um, I was checking out the uh, electronics. There's, there's nothing much at all. Got a Toshiba turntable with no stylus 99% of the time there's a style actually is there a stylus oh maybe not probably not yeah but uh, you know it's just your usual VCRs and edifier sound systems you know what I mean <laughs> um, we got uh, I was looking at this this is a uh, wireless mic system I was checking it out you know make make you know hook up some mics to our videos, you know, but it's seven dollars, but it's outdated. I'm sure I can record on like another phone and just dub it on, on the editing software. So this is outdated stuff. And I was looking at this AudioVox vintage aftermarket cassette deck for the car. You know, four bucks, but it's all complete, but it's missing one nut to adjust the faceplate. Here it has the nut right here, but I got a lot of got a uh, car radios here, you know what I mean? And uh, this is pretty cool, it's an 8-track player. Head adjustment, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, got the, I don't know if the belt's good on that, but we'll see. Uh, got the Norco bicycle, you know what I mean? And some stuff here. Got the uh, golf clubs. And more uh, unsellable stuff but here we got the these are all the wires here you know sometimes you'll find monster cable or any of those high-end cables and they really really matter because the the coax or the the, uh, the material they use in the wires really matters for uh, good good quality uh, signal transfer or whatever but sometimes Occasionally, you'll find some good, uh, some good stuff here. At the wall, you got a vintage CD player. If it was a Sony, or what, what to look out for is a uh, one of those um, Sony portable cassettes, or the I was the one that uh, Marty McFly uses in the movie, uh, the portable uh, cassette player. Not this though. The Craig. No, no, no. Jenny Craig. Nice Lacoste long sleeve, you know what I mean, for nine dollars. And in my most humble opinion, this is authentic because oh, I've been, I, I know what authentic Lacoste looks like. Number three, regular fit. Yeah, all the stitching on the crock. Or is it alligator? Alligator, I don't, you know. It's all, it's all straight and even and everything. You got the. Mother of pearl buttons. Turn it around. Yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's see what else we can find. That boost. We got a hill figure for all you hill figure guys. It says hill figure. You know what I mean. Then I already tried this on. This is so cool. This is what I love. Vintage bomber jacket with a collar. You can tell probably from the 70s or 80s. By the tag, it says made in USA. Eighteen dollars though. That's pretty steep. DeLong, you know, at first, didn't think much of it, but at the back, it says P. 
TIE with a tr classic truck. That's 1970s international, I know. Um, and this is cool. I might, I might get it. I'm a sucker for, it. especially get uh, stuff with images at the back here. You know. Whew. We're at uh, picture frames this time. Got to look for paintings and hand hand painted works and stuff like that. You never know. Uh, I heard a story. Some lady bought a frame and picture, but. She said it's too nice to to dismantle, so she took it to the took it to the uh, I don't know some some guy and he knows what it was sold for one million dollars or something like that. We got a uh, Hare Krishna. Is it Hare Krishna or is it Hindu? Uh, I don't know. Holy smokes! Anyway, we're gonna take a look see if there's any J's. Uh, doesn't look too much. Is DC? You got DCs, man. Very nice. I'm only putting out like the high-end designer stuff because you know it's, it's it's cool to find at the thrift store. You got this very nice Dior. Found some couple ties by vintage though. Christian Dior ties. It says his last name on that. We got another one that's written hard, put away wet. You know that's deformed and stuff. And Christian Dior Monsieur. Okay, okay, okay. Boys, so we're at the shoe, shoe, shoe section, you know. Ooh, somebody smells, you know. Why does it smell bad here? Anyway, check this out. Well, first of all, I'd like to share with this. You know, check these platform shoes out. But, oh my gosh. But, uh, okay, I'm gonna just remove one. Check these out. You can't tell by the way I use my walker. Man, that's cool, man. <laughs> This is what I really want to show you too. Genuine Salvatore Ferragamo dress dress shoes. Dress focus. There we go. Ferragamo. Look at the inside too. They're asking eighteen dollars. Ferragamo. There we go. Size eight and a half. Look at that. Never seen these before. I thought there was. Is this a rare Nike edition for the Air Max 90s? No, it's. it's <laughs> they got rid of all the Nike brand in, and it's apparently paper planes. The paper planes air, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, mine's mine are dogged out. You know these are. You know, that's what Air Max 90 is supposed to look like. What? In the hell are those? Oh my lord. Paper planes air. I like it. Holy shoot. That's some good suede. That's that suede. <laughs> that suede, my lord. Anyway. Smelly, smelly section. Smelly. So we're here at uh, one of my favorite sections of Valley Village. The record section and the cassettes. Yeah, it's usually nothing. Oh, you got... Uh, you got Alan Parsons project, you know, um, you know stuff like that. I don't. Before I, I really sifted through these like crazy, like an obsession. But now it's like, yeah, if I find it, I find it. Um, I had, I have a, a very impressive. Got yeah, the monkeys. To get, you know, I have a very impressive sneaker collection. So, I mean sneaker collection, uh, record collection. Is, is that Barbra Streisand's album called Wet? Very nice. I have uh, probably almost almost 700 LPs and 45s. These are 45s. Then I got John Denver, Gail Garrett, The Carpenters, Sing, Yesterday and Once More. Got John Denver, and you know. You got the uh, cassettes. Always look for like, you know, the rock of the rock LPs. I mean, cassettes like Kiss and Rolling Stones and Black Sabbath. That's what my Brazilian student would say. Donna Summer. I have a soft spot for Donna Summer. That's pretty cool. Let's see. 
Christmas album. What do we got here? Brothers and sisters, check that uh, old Civic out. My lord, look at the old old grandma. She's getting out of it. She's probably the first time or two. Anyways, here's the bag. We got the jacket, the good old jacket. The uh, PIE trucker's jacket. I love that kind of stuff. We are actually going to go to another Valley Village nearby. It's, it's in uh, Coquitlam near the, the Hard Rock Casino. We're going to... Sorry if the I know the video quality is not uh, Academy Academy Award winning, but it is what it is. The RSX. Let's actually take a look at that. Uh, oh no, the lady. I want to take a look at that Honda Civic, but yeah, the 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 grandma is walking away from it. It looks rust free. Holy smokes, that's pre ninety seven license plate, so that's hand painted. She's, oh, it looks like it's full at the back. Ooh, a little rusty. Automatic. Okay, let's hit the road. All right, my brothers and sisters. We are at the Value Village in Coquitlam. The Eagles, Eagles. Near the Hard Rock Casino, Vancouver. Yes, sir. All right. And I'd like to share with you all before we get in. Check these out. Look at those two Sunfire GT convertibles, all in green and... <laughs> you know, seeing even one is rare enough, especially a convertible model. There's two right beside each other. I don't know if they're... they're, they're they, they know each other or they're, that's their collection and the wife drove the other one. I don't know, but... Remote. Honk. There we go. Well... Let's see what we don't find. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it. We just gotta look. Let's check it out. Value Village. It's the thrill of the hunt, boys. Holy smokes! Oh, okay. That's just uh, <laughs> There's some uh, some uh, dolls. Yikesies. Oh, okay, okay. Very loud. Are these, are these KDs? I'm not really good with sneakers still, but this is what the, what the showcase has. Okay, okay, okay. $69.95. Not bad for that. Yeah. You got that. DS. Hightower. I mean, the Italian took these out. He's a gamer. So like these. Oh, we've got some, got some nice Seiko, that's a nice Seiko 5. Is that a Seiko 5? No, it's like a Seiko Quartz. Uh, hmm. Is this an IBM Model M? No, nope, probably not. We've got the, uh, amps, uh, selectors for the, uh, Amp uh, for the guitar or something like that. Oh, mini radio. Huh. Very nice. So let's see what we got here. frame that's that's about it um, all just typical stuff that nobody really wants oh, you got hair dryers though you got hair dryers you know bedding got some bedding here uh, knitting stuff you know what I mean all night long Ooh. okay we got the the power tools and and uh, lanterns and stuff section. Why are they even selling this? Oh no no. Okay, I thought it was broken at the top, but this is a six volt battery. How much are they asking? Oh, ten, one dollar. Hopefully it's still uh, charged. Uh, you know, 
We got the transformer. We got the uh, we got the 14.99 that will never work. Yikes! 99 for this. This is a uh, real back in the day 80s, 90s. It looks like. Oh. Run as fast as you can. Fifteen dollars. You can buy a YSL. Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, YSL stitching right there. Woo -hoo, look at that size. Um, size medium. It's not focusing that easily now. Don't know why, but uh, there it is. YSL. Right off the bat, I found another vintage Christian Dior, Monsieur Tony. Looks like it's from the 90s. Then I found this Christian Dior, Monsieur dress shirt. Very nice. You know? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's keep looking, keep looking. I was talking about authentic Lacoste. Well, this one is a fake a Chinese a garbage you can tell very easily this is not this this is just no it's, it's I mean you, you think this is convincing but when you look at the the tag ooh, my lord this is this is terrible this is terrible uh, is not that's not good and that's what my uncle would say color yellow as if you're homeless I, I like yellow though we're over here at the jeans section you know not much bunch of wranglers with not the patches on the on the pocket that's what the ones I like but and I got your Levi's and suddenly boom you got your vintage YSL that's very interesting man Yves Saint Laurent Port of Homme USA 34 uh, 32 yeah, I mean, that's that's very cool, man. Very cool. Y S M. Hmm. So we're at the long sleeve shirt section, and I had to share this. I mean, this is this is just too fun to to not share. Look at this. Ooh, that's the way I like it. 1970s. Uh, Completed? I don't know what these are called. But very 1970s. Oh yeah, man. That's so cool how it survived all this time too. Somebody kept it in its closet. And forgot about it. Hey, costume. 1970s uh, disco party. You know what I mean? Got an MK Polo here for 5.49 XL. Get the nice MK stitching like that. You know what I mean? Very nice. Very nice. To get ready to leave. And looking over the cassettes here, scanning it, and then suddenly, boom! Queen Greatest Hits. I had this on the LP. This is all of Queen's Greatest Hits. And I like some of their non hits too, but Ready Gaga, We Will Rock You. Stop Me Now. Okay, okay. all those you probably know. What's that? Let's try that. And. If we look inside, I always look inside, like I knew I was going to buy this. But then when we look inside... Ay, 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 what in the heck is this? It's it's not Queen's Greatest Hits, it's... It's it's MSC Musicals. Let me tell you... Uh, damn, that sucks so hard. And with brothers and sisters... I'm going home. It's time for lunch. Hungry, hungry, you know what I mean? But, yeah, sometimes, sometimes this Valley Village is, actually, most times I haven't been finding anything at this location. Uh, the, one of the better locations where we just came back from, uh, the Burkwitlam one, but I'm going head home. Oh, holy crap. A big, big whiff of just sewer smell just went up my nose right now that's weird anyway some guy in the car is looking at me <laughs> anyway we just have a great time wearing my Beatles shirt clutch down starting it rod knock oh no 
you know. But anyways, we're gonna be hitting the good old dusty trail, and uh, yeah, haven't done a thrift video like this in a while, but uh, we had nothing. Pause, pause, pause. Mute, mute. Yeah, so gonna edit this tonight and uh, we'll be up uh, hopefully by the end of this day. Catch you guys later, my brothers and sisters. And remember, if I can do it, anybody can. And I'm out for now.